this entire philosophy of what we discuss here on this channel can be summed up as accept that you already have what you desire and go about your life. It's like living life in a perpetual meditation. If one happens to encourage doubts along the way and suffers as a result, they can encourage the idea that they have everything inside of them now and the outer is a reflection of their completion within. The subconscious mind then is allowed to express a harmonious story of journey to destination without unnecessary doubt, allowing your vision to unfold naturally. This is power, true power. By allowing the journey to unfold rather than trying to control your subconscious with doubt-based thought identification, you'll know what to do or not do, and all of that actually, you'll find, happens naturally and effortlessly because, as we've been discussing, acceptance of the end, which is your vision, reveals the means. Your vision is reality inside, and the subconscious is expressing it as outside. So we allow it to happen. I like what Charles Hano shared in the Master Key System to articulate the point. He says, our future may be placed under our own control instead of being at the mercy of any capricious or uncertain external power. It explains the cause of every condition, the reason for every experience, the origin of all power, and why all power is absolutely under our own control. So we accept that there's no power outside higher than the power inside you. Realize the identification in mind to doubt-based beliefs that seem to suggest otherwise. Perhaps an auto-suggestion like this can help. All power exists within me now and is subject to what I consciously commit to in which the ways of the subconscious mind draw upon all resources in known and unknown ways to allow it to be. He also states, it is through the subconscious that Shakespeare must have perceived, without effort, great truths which are hidden from the conscious mind of the student. That Phidias fashioned marble and bronze, that Raphael painted Madonnas, and Beethoven composed symphonies. I would agree with this because I found that as I allowed myself to operate from my vision on my entrepreneurial journey, everything seemed to flow naturally. Deals, sales, marketing, and innovation were experienced and still does as follows. I wake up around 5 a.m. and perform my morning routine, and then I go and sit down and go about my tasks. Then at the end of the day, I look back and it felt like one consistent flow of creativity from start to finish. I would recommend watching the video I released on flow last week, which further emphasizes it. I'll put a link in the description to it. So one of the reasons why I believe this became a way of life for me, as I've had this conversation with many others who also experienced the same, is based on trusting my intuition and not allowing doubts to sway my inner relationship with what I know. Your intuition is above any doubt. I like how Thomas Trord articulates this in the Edinburgh Lectures of Mental Science. He says, The best guide is the knowledge that comes from personal experience, which gradually leads to the acquisition of a sort of inward sense of touch that enables us to distinguish the true from the false and which appears to grow with the sincere desire for truth, 
and with the recognition of the Spirit as its source, it will be found that the argument of the objective mind, however correct on the facts objectively known, was deficient from ignorance of facts which could not be objectively known at the time, but which were known to the intuitive faculty. So, so much overthinking, self-imposed confusion, and emotional turmoil seem to be caused, at least from my experience, by allowing five-sensory information to doubt my own inner knowing, or more specifically put, allowing myself to doubt in relation to five-sensory information. So let's look at this for a moment. Any information we engage with, we're the ones inside suggesting what this information means to us. Even if I say, here, this is how to think. This is how to do or not do things. You inside are the only one who can suggest to yourself if what I am saying is true or not. Now, there's an enormous amount of power in this, so let's explore it further. Let's say one came across some information. Maybe someone said something to them, and in their mind, they started doubting themselves. One may assume that the information being presented is what is causing them to doubt themselves. Perhaps on a surface level, it may appear that way. Upon closer observation, we acknowledge that they are the only ones inside who can ever determine what that information means to them with respects to their vision and how they desire to live. I learned this more so over the years through sales and entrepreneurship. I learned to reveal my own meaning to information from within, which allows me to remain trusting of my intuition rather than encouraging doubt-based interpretation in relation to what others appear to suggest. We want to live from our vision to create the life that we want. In sales, for example, I experienced countless what we would call rejection. And in the earlier days, I would doubt myself with regards to what the prospect would seem to suggest. However, there was always a still, soft voice that would say to me, keep going. It's all going to make sense. And it eventually did. We all have that voice. It is the voice of our ideal. As James Allen once said, say to yourself, I will live in my ideal now. I will manifest my ideal now. I will be my ideal now. And all that tempts me away from my ideal, I will not listen to. I will listen only to the voice of my ideal, thus resolving and thus doing. You shall not depart from the highest and shall eternally manifest the true. So anything a prospective client would then say would be seen as optimization data to further our relationship. I would also apply it for my marketing, sales, and innovation. The business then would grow rapidly as I didn't find I would doubt myself anymore in relation to any information that was presented to me. And it's my desire for you to also reveal this ability if you have not already discovered it. And if you have, I'd like to further encourage it. One of the ways of encouraging this inner relationship of intuition is acknowledging that only you inside can suggest whatever information means to you. And you can choose from this moment beyond the beliefs of the past or any beliefs that seem to suggest that reality works a way that is not ideal to your vision. Reality works the way you say it does, your higher self. And thus, I always recommend choosing loving meaning so you can have a harmonious life, do what you want, live how you want to live. 
and you'll find that no information that appears could ever cause you to doubt again. Because you realize that you are the only one inside who determines what any information means to you. Receive from your ideal within. And from this, remember, your conscious and subconscious together manifest as your outer. They represent your consciousness. And the world is a mirror, or we could say your consciousness outpictured. You choose what you want to encourage in your mind. I would suggest choosing what you love, your vision. As James Allen once said, cherish your visions. Cherish your ideals. Cherish the music that steers in your heart. The beauty that forms in your mind. The loveliness that drapes your purest thoughts. For out of them will grow all delightful conditions, all heavenly environment. Of these, if you but remain true to them, your world will at last be built. So release any identification to doubt-based beliefs that seem to cause the wavering by listening to and honoring your intuition on your journey to realizing your vision. I can assure you that this becomes automatic and overthinking becomes a thing of the past as you live this way. Now let's discuss how we can apply this by going within and questioning any doubt. Let's say one had an experience, a conversation with someone in which they said to them, it is not possible to achieve X by performing Y. You can discuss this with yourself. You could say, how do we know that what this information seems to suggest is true? Knowing that I am the one assigning the meaning? And thus, what is actually true for me and my vision, knowing that I know inside what is best for me? Are there any others out there that performed Y to make X happen? Can I be the first to do it? Perhaps applying why would be easier for me personally. I wouldn't want to change myself to be who I am not. So I'm going to allow myself to be and perform why. This is also an opportunity to listen to myself and release unnecessary suffering. How specifically is it not possible to apply Y and achieve X. And if I don't encourage listening to myself, would I be inviting further unnecessary suffering by allowing myself to doubt myself? This ability to listen to myself appears to be the beginning of more opportunities in my life that will present themselves as I move forward with Y. So I'll go ahead with what I know now. So again, some ideas to stimulate that conversation. I mentioned before in one of the recent videos that before I heard the word intuition, we called it street knowledge, reading between the lines of information and relating the experience to the vision, relating the information to the vision, looking beyond seeming doubt and seeing it, how it can be ideally in relation to your vision, entrepreneurial thinking. One would also then commit to their findings and move forward with a decision that they have chosen to further cultivate this inner relationship as it becomes automatic. The mind also becomes more subtle as you allow yourself to receive within the ideas, hunches, and inspirations and honor them via your intuition. So I would recommend making this a priority. And you'll find that you will listen to yourself and trust yourself, and pleasantly so if you desire. You'll find yourself surrounded by others who also live the same way. So I trust you found this video to be encouraging of what you already know. I know that you already know what you want and how to experience what you want. And thus, let's go ahead and conclude this with an auto-suggestion to further encourage. You can say, Intuition reveals to me from the infinite world within, the source of it all, how to think, what to do in experience with the life that I desire. I know the ways to bring it into existence by releasing control 
and trusting the power of my subconscious mind as I listen to myself and trust myself. Information that is presented is subject to my own consent as to what it means and I choose to encourage and cherish my ideals in relation with the information. For this is the music that steers in my heart, the beauty that forms in my mind, the loveliness that drapes my purest thoughts which automatically express delightful conditions, heavenly environments, experienced as my world, at last built to perfection. If you would like a copy of this mind map, the link is in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll talk with you soon. Take care.